Durham, the Bull City, a city that, like many, has grown tired of injustice against black Americans in this country, a city that wants change. Thursday night's protests were a bit different after marching up and down the city streets in previous days. Yes, tonight was about healing, it was about listening, it was about learning, about coming together in another way. Organizers brought forth city leaders and everyday people to speak on topics from what it'll take to bring forth reform to personal anecdotes about what it's like to be black in America. It haunts my mind to go to sleep and have to dream about what if I go out and I'm the next person? What if I go out and my mother says, you know, where are you going? And I say my friend's house and I don't make it there. I'm tired. Our community is tired. Our community is pained. Our community is stressed. Our community is fed up. And our community is mad. I even saw a man with a very poignant sign with five simple words. Do not kill my son. The man who had the sign, known to me as David, spoke on the significance and what brought him out. You know, working adult medical professional decided to come out here to make one thing clear. I need to make sure they know I'm adamant about protecting my son. And now, and I, as a former military officer, and I understand that the president wants to uh, put the military toward his people, and there's only one other thing that we can do is ask for the world to protect us. Tonight's event concluded with a prayer and nine minutes of silence for George Floyd and the countless other victims of police brutality.